Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite things from the month of May. And I've been thinking about doing a favorites video before, but I don't just want to list out a long list of products that I think you should or should not buy. So some of my favorites may be experiences or events or, I don't know, other things. But I also want to encourage you all to go out there and do things for yourself and set goals for self-improvement as well. So in addition to my May favorites, I'm going to be sharing some intentions that I have to improve myself for the month of June. And then hopefully that will inspire some of you to do the same or adopt other similar healthy lifestyle habits. Okay, so let's get into the video. So first I'm gonna go through the more physical things that have been my favorites for this month. So the first thing are these aromatherapy sprays from Frankie and Murr. My friend from work back in Pittsburgh actually recommended them to me and I highly doubt she watches these videos, but if she is, hi Carla, thank you so much. Um, I have really been interested in aromatherapy recently and she told me about these sprays and it's actually a blend of different oils and you can use them as perfumes, you can spray them on your pillow at night, you can put them in aroma diffusers and I just think they're a great natural alternative to perfumes because perfumes often have a lot of chemicals and they aren't really good for you. And all of the products have really cute names as well. They are a little bit pricey, so I only have two of them, but I definitely want to purchase some more of them and try out some of their other scents. The first one that I have is called Hippie Go Lucky, and this one is described as a mind-mellowing patchouli and grapefruit aromatherapy spray. Find your hippie medium. And I have recently loved patchouli. I think that it is the most amazing scent. I also have a patchouli scented body wash that I've really been digging, but I love this. It's more of a perfumey kind of musky scent, so I use this one more as a perfume, but I've also been spraying the air around it when I study, and it's very relaxing. And then the second one I have, I absolutely love. This one is called Under the Influence, and it's an intoxicating blend of vanilla, jasmine, and lavender. And when I saw this online, I freaked out because vanilla, jasmine, and lavender are like three of my most favorite scents. So I just absolutely had to get this. I love spraying this on my pillow at night right before I go to bed. And lavender is really good for relaxing and helping you fall asleep. So yes, I have really been loving these. And my next favorite may seem kind of weird, but it's actually a makeup remover. It's by the brand Sukin, and it's actually called a micellar cleansing water. But it said on the back of the package that you can use it as a makeup remover, so that's how I know that's what it is. Um, and I really like this. It's an Australian skincare brand. My friend Corinne actually sent it to me a few months ago. We did a box exchange with US and Australian products. I actually have a, a video on it back in my channel always, but this smells so good. I think there's vanilla extract and I think there's like rose. Oh my gosh. I just wish that I wore more makeup so I could like use more of it on my face at night. But it is a really good brand. Everything from this brand is 100% vegan and they also don't have any sulfate, synthetic fragrances, animal derivatives, harsh detergents, propylene glycol, like all the other nasty stuff that's in a lot of conventional brands. And another thing I like about this one is that there's no oil in it. I don't really like using oily makeup removers because I just feel like that sticks to my face. So this is not oily and it just evaporates and goes away. So my next favorite of the month of May is actually a YouTube channel called Fight Master Yoga. A lot of people ask me where I get my yoga videos and how I do yoga exercises and I'm definitely not skilled enough in yoga to do my own flows, although I would like to get to that point eventually. But I have experimented with a few different yoga channels in the past, but Leslie Fightmaster, I don't know if that's her real last name, but it'd be an awesome last name if it is. But anyways, Fightmaster Yoga is definitely my favorite yoga YouTube channel. I think that she has such a soothing and calming voice, and I really like the way she designs her yoga practices. And she also has some videos that are easier for beginners, but then she also has a few intermediate videos, which I really like. So if I want to challenge, I can do one of those. And I don't really feel like, you know, I'm spending half of my time in Downward Dog. Another thing I like about her is at the end of every practice in Shavasana, she gives you an inspirational quote or reads a passage to you. And I think this is a really good way to end your practice and sort of carry an attitude of mindfulness throughout the day. And all of her quotes are amazing and they really make you think. My fourth favorite for this month is actually a fruit. It's called Mame Sapote. I hope I'm pronouncing it that right, but it's a pretty rare fruit. It's, I think it's only in season like two times a year and it's originally from Mexico and Central America. But luckily enough for me, because I just moved to Miami where the climate is more warm and tropical, they can 
actually grow it here as well. And I had literally never heard of this fruit before, before I moved here. And then I saw people posting about it on Instagram and I was like, what is this magic? I must have it. So the next day I biked to a local organic farmer's market and they had it. And I just happened to pick out a really good one. So thank you heavens for that. But the fruit itself kind of tastes like a sweet potato and it has a really dense texture too. And the color of it is just so beautiful. It's like a salmon-y orange and it's definitely expensive because it is a rare fruit so I kind of bought it to treat myself. But I enjoyed every last bit of that fruit and I definitely need to get myself another one before the season of it ends. And then my final favorite for the month is kind of strange but I am so proud of it and it's this baby little dinky plant. So this is actually a rosemary plant. My mom gave it to me as a kit when I first moved into this apartment. But yeah, it came with just like a packet of little seeds and gave you some dirt. And I was bored one day and I was like, you know, maybe I'll just try to plant this. I'll see if anything happens. And I just put the seeds in, put it on my window, I still watered it like once, I think, and I kind of forgot about it. But last week, a little sprout came out. I was like, oh my gosh, my plant, it's actually working. And I've been watering it every day and it's been growing so much. And I don't know, it's just really fun to have on my desk and to be like, hey, I helped make this. So that is my last favorite for the month. And I hope I don't kill it before the next month. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for all of my favorites. So now I'm going to move into my three intentions for the month of June. So my first intention is to practice yoga every day. I've definitely scaled my exercise routine back recently just because I feel like school is pretty stressful right now and I want to give my body a little bit of a rest. But yoga is definitely still a really good workout and I've been trying to do it every day. And I also love how it's relaxing and it's sort of a challenge with yourself versus with someone else because you can just see how much further you can get into the pose the next day or how much longer you can hold your headstand. So yes, I want to try to do it every day for the month of June and see how much my practice can improve. My next intention is to make a habit of meditating. So I've recently looked more into meditating and I watched a few videos on YouTube that inspired me to get more into it and I've done it a few times and I really, really like it. It's just a really nice way to relax your body and start out the day on a good note and I also just think it makes me more mindful of my surroundings and more appreciative of my days and life in general. And then my third intention for the month is to check out two new places here in Miami. As most of you probably know, I did just move here and I do want to explore the area more. But as I am currently in grad school, during the week, it's kind of busy for me. And I'm the kind of person who loves to go out and explore new places, but I'm also perfectly content at home, cozied up in my room, you know, spending time alone with my thoughts or whatever. So I want to encourage myself to get out there and not be a homebody all the time. So those are my three intentions for the month of June. I figured in my June favorites video, I could update you all on them and tell you how they all went for me. And that's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I want you guys to tell me one favorite you had for the month of May and one intention you're going to set for yourself for June. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.